Yeah, hello everybody. This is my continuing series of unboxing videos, robot videos. Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the new Robotus TurtleBot 3. This is the burger version, which is the open source version. It uses the uh, Raspberry Pi. So. Okay, so this robot uh, uses the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it has the ROS robotic operating system. Uh, I think the retail value for this kit is around 550 US. Uh, it's a small size, but it's a pretty nice size robot. Like I said, it's open sourced. Open source hardware, open source software, very modular as a lidar sensor very cool so for around 550 you basically got a uh, very nice research and development robot ai all kinds of little things you can do with it navigation moving it around so on there you can see as a turtlebot.com is wiki page and a page for more information about the turtle bot pretty extensive about all the software mechanics and stuff so on this is a waffle this is a closed source robot not sure what processor is running it right now as the jewels going out of the out of the development or manufacture this is the burger this is what's the one I have. It's open source, which I'm a big fan of. So, kind of open up the box, see what's in it. If I can, there you go. Okay. Very extensive manual. I got one of the early. Uh, so this is all in Korean, it looks like. But I think I can figure it out through the pictures. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, here we go. Quick start. Basic operations, charging. As you can see, uh, laser uh, distance sensor, LiDAR. Okay, so there's the English, Korean. Oh, here's the assembly manual. Very nice. This is robotic, so it's gonna be very extensive, very thorough. probably do assembly uh, video kind of been working on my camera setup I think this will work really well for assembly video probably do that next weekend when I have some time very nice so this is the open CR New controller, I'll get it out and show it to you. So you've got the OpenCR, Raspberry Pi 3, LiDAR sensor, battery. Uh, these are the new Dynexel XL430s. They have a uh, interface between the Raspberry Pi and the OpenCR. It's USB. Standard cables, screws. Can't wait to get uh, using the new uh, Dynexel XL 430s. It's a quick start manual. 
Uh oh. Hopefully. Okay, this is the standard. Uh, I wonder if they know this. This is the Korean plug in. I have battery chargers that are not Korean, that are the standard uh, robotic cables for battery charging. So I think I'm okay here. But this is something. Uh, your boss may want to look at. They sent me the Korean plug-in. Oh, they got the, the large Olo hammer. Traditionally, Robotus is always really good. They almost give you every tool you'll need. This is the screwdriver. These are really nice screwdrivers. There's the battery. A little bit bigger than normal, which is great. But here's I have I have lots of these these are uh, uh, is this the lidar this is the lidar but if this is the battery charger this is great I have a couple of these and I have the the plug in everything for them Ooh, lidar can't wait to start working on this. This is a 360 LiDAR. You can see it spins. This is super sweet in a $500 kit. So the LiDAR is just going to spin like this. We do like mapping and so on. I think this is the. Uh, This is the new Robotis, I don't know if you see that, the new Robotis uh, USB ad adapter for Raspberry Pi to OpenCR. That's, I'm going to take some pictures of that. That's, that's all new. Make the interface easy for you. New battery, sweet, it's a little bit bigger than your standard battery, which is awesome because you, you got a lot going on and you want to uh, oh, okay. have the robot running around for a while doing mapping and stuff. Okay, here's the Okay, so this is the normal Robotis brick, power brick. So I'll be fine. If I wasn't a Robotis user, I would be freaked out because I have no way to charge my batteries. But uh, like I said, a little bit of a glitch. If you're going to send to the US or other companies or other countries other than uh, Korea. You need to make sure they get the right uh, battery connection. Like I said, I have two or three of these bricks and the power cords, so I'm not freaking out. Okay, not sure if everything's already installed. Doesn't look like it. I think I'm gonna have to download it. Raspberry Pi 3, awesome, open source. These are the new Dynexel XL430W250Ts. Uh, Super sweet servo. Just started playing around with it already. Has the ID set to and one. If you're a robotics user, you understand that's just the high level address. Awesome open source. Big proponent open source all the way. Raspberry Pi 3. The cool thing is is that is if they start upgrading next time they upgrade the Raspberry Pi you just buy a new one $35 and you upgrade your uh, hardware. This is one of the cool new features. This is the uh, OpenCR which is just a really high-end uh, Arduino. I 
can't remember exactly where the the plug-in there's actually actually a plug-in for direct plug-in for the Arduino but uh, super sweet power on and off switch battery battery I can do a breakdown of the OpenCR this week people are interested you just see exactly what the OpenCR does with this guy I know the Ross operating systems runs on the Raspberry Pi everybody knows about the Raspberry Pi so I'm not opening up that box Okay, turbo three tires, Molo parts, connectors, all the stuff I'm gonna need to put it together. The risers. I don't want this video to go forever. It's the last box. Okay, just the parts. These look like injected molded plastic, but uh, I should be able to 3D print all these out. That would be one of the things I'll do in the next few months. So I get to get me using the guy. So I can add to the stack, make it taller, do all kinds of cool stuff. So, that's a quick unboxing. I'm getting uh, about 12 minutes into the video now, so it's about time to wrap it up so I can upload it to YouTube so very cool I can't wait to start playing around with this uh, open source awesome open source and robotics equals cool product as far as I'm concerned they're very thorough have all the parts I need the instructions look good I have all the tools I need to get the robot up and going to probably have to download the software put it uh on the SD card. So, I'm going to wrap up this video. Right now, packaging and everything. Minor issue. Dad graded him a little bit. A minus. I think this is, looks like a very cool product. Slight downgrade because of the plug in, but everything else looks super awesome. I'll post more videos in the future. Programming, assembly, and so on. If you have any questions, Please comment to this video or send me email, text me. I'm on social media everywhere, so everybody knows where I am. So, thanks. Thanks for watching, everybody. And thanks for Bodice for uh, getting me one of the early production versions before everybody else. So, see everybody next time.